Hello all you crystal addicts out there. Thank you for joining me for another crystal powwow. I'm Jessie from Little Lemuria and today we're going to discuss anhydro crystals. Um, anhydros have always been a highly sought after item in the crystal collecting world. Recently there's been a kind of ridiculously massive surge of fakes on the market and I definitely want to mention that in more detail at the end of the video. Uh, and hydro is actually a word that's exclusively reserved for agates. Uh, the agates I'm talking about have large fluid cavities um, in the center of them that uh, the outside is not clear. Usually you have to put a backlight behind them and you kind of jiggle them around you can see the fluid inside. And those come from Brazil. Those are pretty rare. Those are also um, rehydrated sometime. Uh, but it's not as commonly faked as what I'm going to tell you here at the end of the video. What we're going to look at today are called fluid inclusions, and I'm going to show you a bunch of genuine pieces. Uh, a lot of the pieces I have here are from Namibia, and then I also brought uh, here to show you a piece of amber with a fluid inclusion, and that is from Colombia. Selenite is another stone that is relatively common to have fluid inclusions, along with fluorite, barite, uh, and a handful of others. So when quartz forms, it begins the crystallization process in a liquid solution underground. As the layers crystallize, defects in the formation cause the entrapment of the fluid in the environment. So the trapped fluid could be a liquid, it could be a vapor, or a supercritical fluid. Uh, in all of the studies I've read, which I specifically only read peer-reviewed scientific studies and even thesis papers, um, and I'll go ahead and leave some links in the description, these bubbles are measured in micromillimeters, under a microscope, and on up to millimeters. Also, clean and perfectly clear quartz will not display fluid inclusions. Uh, so if the crystal is forming with defects, uh, you're going to see sort of defects throughout the crystal. Um, and they might not be what your average collector considers a defect, but um, if we're talking on a mineralogic standpoint, the entire crystal is going to form with some level of defects throughout. Uh, so the crystals and polished specimens that have flooded the market in 2018 and 19 are not genuine fluid inclusions. They're made by a process called fake fluid replenishment or rehydration, where a crystal with a negative empty space, so a large cavity, is filled with water through a very small hole or fracture, um, which is why a lot of times they polish them down until there's just only a small layer of crystal between where that water pocket is and the outside. Or else you'd, if it was a large crystal and the, the pocket was inside of it, you're gonna see where they've drilled in there. So this hole is usually filled with epoxy and polished over. If a locality was by some miracle suddenly producing giant fluid included cavities and quartz, these would be documented and studied. Uh, they could be studied by Fourier Transform Infrared Spect... Sorry, <laughs> that's a big one. We'll call it FTIS, Fourier Transform Infrared spect oh gosh, Spectroscopy, <laughs> to determine the composition of massive fluid pockets. Uh, so other scientific studies on fluid inclusions are microthermometry, laser Raman microbe, quadruple mass spectrometer, um, are other methods that they use to study these. Fluid inclusions are an indispensable tool for geologists. They reveal information on the temperature, salinity, pressure, density, and the gas bubbles can even be analyzed for information on climate change. So they're kind of a big deal. Ultimately, there's just no possible way that no scientific data exists on these monstrous quote and hydros that are being sold at unreasonable prices. So my hope is that this video can be shared and eventually put an end to the deceptive manufacturing process of these crystals. There are many amazing, truly genuine fluid included crystals available on the internet to purchase. And while the pockets may be small, they hold a wealth of data so huge it's hard to comprehend. So support those people selling the genuine fluid inclusions. They're fascinating. They're amazing. Um, and the other ones, if you like the way they look, go for it. Um, just know that they have been uh, rehydrated and they look pretty dope, but they're probably not legit. So I hope you enjoyed this crystal powwow and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.